I'm going to demonstrate rolling motion of this ring. As a ring rolls along a surface without slipping, it travels a distance equal to the circumference of the circle each time the, the rotation completes one complete rotation. So for this, uh, this time when I roll the wheel, I want you to notice that between here and here, the wheel or the circle completes one rotation. So I've marked a black line here. The black line came up, came to the top, came down to the bottom again. So we've completed one rotation. The amount of time it takes for one complete rotation is called the period T. The distance traveled is equal to the circumference of the circle. How so? It's because as I roll without slipping at all, I'm, not, I'm talking about not slipping this way, but just rolling without slipping, I'm going to lay down the entire distance around the circle horizontally as I complete the circle. So that distance is the circumference of the circle, and that's 2 pi times the radius of the circle. So the distance that I've gone is 2 pi times the radius, that's the circumference, divided by the time. That's what we mean by velocity, distance divided by time. But 2 pi divided by the period t is defined as the angular speed omega. And so this uh, equation v equals omega r gives the speed of a wheel or any circular object that rolls without slipping.